still windy and cold. I'm just gonna take a little walk up here and see where there's a monument. Well, it's a little memorial. They've been there for several years. And the guy died while hunting. He had a heart attack. And um, his daughter, who was a preteen, I guess, had had somebody take her way out in the woods where we're going and she put up a little cross and a little memorial to her dad in the place where her dad died and so I came across it when I was deer hunting one time and I asked the locals when I got back what, what had happened and they told me how he died and somebody came on their four-wheeler and found him it was during hunting season and took him back and anyway so she had this little cross and a little picture of her and a little thing that said I love you daddy and some ribbons on it and, and so I it, the weather had had uh, made it sort of fall over and so I straightened it back up and so whenever I would walk that way I would always straighten it back up. I wrote an article about it. And tried to find a little girl who's grown up now. And thought maybe if she needed to put more stuff out there, or wanted somebody to walk with her out in the woods and, and visit that spot again, I'd be happy to do that. And I've never been able to find her, but we're just going to go out there and check it out. And if it needs straightening up, that's what we will do. We're four miles from West Virginia in Maryland. Can you believe this is Maryland? The terrain is the same in West Virginia as it is in this area. And I always think of that song, Almost Heaven, West Virginia. Life is old there. And look at the stones. If you've been to the Rockies, those mountains are young compared to these Appalachian Mountains where it's... These have been eroding and breaking for so long. The soil is poor, except in pockets of bottomland. If you get up in these mountains and 
the trees are a lot older than you would think because they don't grow as fast because of the rocky soil and the lack of nutrients. So it's a delicate ecosystem. It was logged over many years ago. But these trees are really old. And the ground they grow in is really eroded and worn. It has a beauty all its own. We're in rattlesnake country, but it doesn't matter on a cold day. But I've walked up here in my water shoes in the summertime. I saw a baby rattlesnake. It's amazing how fast they move. And they can bite you. And they got poison. It's part of the fun of being out in the wilderness. Is you are a part of it and subject to the same dangers as any other living thing in the wilderness. You can't call the cops if a bear's coming or a rattlesnake threatens. But that's probably it for danger, except rocks. There was a guy hunting. He was on some a rock hillside, and a big rock just lodged and pinned him. He was in one of these hollows, and he couldn't get loose, and he couldn't get help, and he had his deer rifle. He was in such terrible pain that he shot himself. So, except for you, I am alone, and there are dangers, but I think I'm safer here than I am in an inner city somewhere, because I'm more familiar with this environment, and I have encountered bears, and I know how to handle myself. Like I said, they're probably still hibernating. If they're not, they're up and hungry. But I am not an easy meal. So we won't worry. I never worry. I gave it up. It's so bothersome. Well, now here's a challenge. My shoe's untied. I bet you I'm going to get wet. There is an old logging road I could take. It's right up here. It's more fun to go orienteering. I'll show you the road. My first morale. helicopter flew over. It was a medevac helicopter. They were taken crazy to the hospital after a motorcycle accident. He died that night. It was crazy. I'll tell you that it's I think my backside's all muddy because I slipped down the hill. I ain't worried about it. If you have a glass of wine, please join me.
I'm going to leave my gear here except for my phone and uh, lighter. And then I'm going to walk up and on the way back I will hit the uh, hit this tree and grab my stuff. But way up there is the memorial, so we'll keep going. These hills are awfully slippery. I might fall on my butt going down. Don't laugh. My ass is already wet from another fall you, you didn't see. Spectacular, isn't it? No, oh, I think the memorial's up here. It's farther than I thought. Part of nature's beauty is the chaos. The trees falling and laying there and splitting. It's just, it has a beauty all its own because it's, you know, if an artist came and painted that tree or that tree, 
it's not normally the subject of that's considered beautiful, but it is because it's so real. It's what nature does. Look at, look at this. How many years ago, someone put this coal shovel up there. And it will stay there, if I have any say. What were they doing with the shovel way, way out here? I wonder if we'll find another foundation for a house. Cabin. I hope the memorial hasn't been destroyed somehow. I didn't remember it was that far. I have seen that shovel in the tree before. I bet it's up here. I stumbled on it one year and I thought I was pretty far out in the woods. So we might have a ways to go. Look at those beautiful rocks. all the way to the top of Dan's Mountain. You can see where the tree line ends. That's the top of Dan's. It's a surprisingly long way. But it's fun. It's so remote. Look at this trash. I'll get it on the way out. And that tangle is that glass bottom. I'll grab it. thinking I'm the luckiest man in the world to be here in all this beauty and solitude and to share it with you. Up on the top of Dan's there's snow just like there is here. The reason that this snow is here is because it's not facing where the sun hits it in the late afternoon like over there, so it hasn't melted. Up on the top, it's out in the sun most of the time, but it's so cold at that higher elevation. In an afternoon like this where it's above freezing, 
then you get the snow melt coming down and this creek is a little higher than it usually is. I think it's called Tom's Creek. We can call it Cook's Creek. Seeing as we're friends with all the cooks. Look at these icicles hanging off this log. Listen to that beautiful water. It's fun. Well, you don't break an ankle. And I'm texting Luke. I'm up here with a four-wheeler. Rescue Dougie. That happened once. My friend Ralph and I were riding double on a four-wheeler and he was going up a hill and he pushed the gas too much and we flipped backwards. In the, in the crash, it rolled over my arm and the muffler. Burned my arm, a giant blister. It healed, I don't have a scar. We were lucky. We were laying there, it was the middle of the night. And uh, I made a phone call. Pretty soon, way off in the woods, I heard four wheelers and I could see their lights. My friends came and rescued us. And they said, God damn, Dougie! What are you doing? Ralph was driving. Ralph's a good man. I wonder how he's doing. Break time, I'm breaking a sweat. It's not uh, smart to break a sweat on a day like today. Deceptively warm, and then when you stop exercising, and if you got sweaty clothes and night falls, it gets real cold real fast. And I left my two jackets I was wearing this morning down there. Probably a mile. The sun is going to go down to eat in a half hour and it's going to get cold and it's going to get twilight. Dark comes early in a hollow. Such a long weary pilgrim. Weary pilgrim press on. I think I missed that memorial. I think it's gone. But we'll keep going. Maybe we'll find it.
one of the wise old men of the forest that taught me so much. I never met him, but I read his books. He wrote The Complete Walker. His name was Colin Fletcher. He was really into the solo hike. He was a backpacker. Like I said, he taught me so much. As did so many people. And he was a strong advocate of the walking stick. He said it tur turns you from a unsure-footed biped into a sure-footed sure -footed tripod. And he's right. He saved me from falling on my ass a thousand times. He was hit by a car while he was walking. And he was really badly injured and then finally he died. But he knew he was gonna long before the car. And I know I'm gonna. So I ain't scared. But what I was always taught and what people always say, don't go hiking alone. How can I have solitude if I do that? If I want to stand here and take in the beauty and whoever I'm hiking with doesn't, there's conflict. Even if it's they're politely waiting for me. I'm aware that I'm holding someone up. That's one of the reasons I enjoy taking you along in the form of my awesome GoPro Hero camera. And we have some good times. If I don't have the camera, when I didn't for years when I hiked like this, do I talk to myself? No, I'm talking to you. I would sing a lot. It's one of the ways to let the bears know a human's coming. I think the bears are all smart enough to still be hibernating. And I ain't worried about it. I think they hear me. They can probably smell me. I can't smell them. You can smell a skunk. Even when they haven't sprayed, if they've been in an area, you get that skunk smell. I'm surprised I haven't seen any wildlife. Oh, there's tons of coyotes and I've seen a lot of scat today. My buddies were telling me the deer population is severely impacted by the overpopulation of coyotes in this area. My friend Jake works at a strip mine. He keeps a rifle in his truck. He shot five of them this year. He says that uh, they're really on the move in the spring because they have pups to feed. So they're chasing every rabbit, every wild turkey, whatever they can get their jaws around. So they can nurse those pups. We are past the memorial. We missed it or it's gone. So, reluctantly, I must turn around. I want to go up there though. You wait here, I'll go up there. And I'll come back and get you and we'll go back.
Lost the battery. Bye. Thanks for going with me. If I find the memorial, I'll take pictures and show you. Get the last bit of juice. Here it is. I was down there and I didn't see what remains of the memorial up here. Merry Christmas, we miss you. And see, here's her picture. She left a picture of herself for her daddy. Oh, I want to find out who she is. I want to maintain this for her. I don't know why I do. Merry Christmas. He died in November during deer season. Dad. Life and the love between a daughter and a father. That will never die. I love you, Kelly. I love you, Kristen. I love you, Michelle. Made it back plenty of times. See how high the sun is? We were in the deep of Cook's Hollow. Maybe halfway up. You see the top of Dan's Mountain. And you see how the terrain is that hollow. <clears throat> we were about halfway when I found the memorial. And I went much farther looking for it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> 